What is up YouTube? M1 American here. Out on the KTM again. This time I'm in a canyon. As you can see, quite a ways up. And I'm um, just exploring around. There's all kinds of neat stuff in here. I've been here quite a few times, but you know, it's hard to see everything. You really have to take days and days to explore this because there's so many different places you can go. And a lot of it, you have no idea that it's there. You have to just stop and look around. And uh, I've done that for a couple years, or actually quite a few years, like 10 years. Um, exploring this place and just doing different things. Unfortunately, they've kind of closed it down, which is sad. People would dump their trash out here and just vandalize it, tear the place up, and just absolutely destroy it. And uh, whoever owns the property, or the majority of it, I guess, has made enough complaints that they actually filed something with the Sheriff's Department. And now uh, you're pretty much restricted to almost doing nothing, which is a sheer that's absolute shame. So anyways, I'm just out here looking around, seeing what else I can find this trip. You gotta be careful going around some of these corners though. I mean, you're looking at, uh, you're gonna fly. I mean, it's, that's a ways down. And you come around these corners too quick and uh, you don't know how fast the other guy's going and uh, yeah, you're gonna learn to fly or you're gonna learn to die, one of the two. But what a view, right? So this road basically just cuts through this canyon all the way around, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so to me this is fascinating, but you see the river obviously flowing through here, comes down, and then right here you see something unique. Looks like it's bubbling up from the bottom, doesn't it? Because it is. And as a matter of fact, if you look down here, the river is actually flowing upstream. So the water is coming up around this rock. So it's going down this way, and part of it's coming back up this way. So what's happening here is the water is hitting a deep spot. It's going down. You can see where it's really dark, and then it gets light. It hits this, it ramps up, and that's where you see that water coming back up to the top and it comes up and out so it actually pushes it back and it's pushing it out this way and that actually pulls some of the water back so most of the water stays that way and some of it gets pulled back this way and you can see right here there's these ripples that just don't go away they're constantly in that same spot because you have a current coming this way and a current coming this way and it's meeting right there I'm no expert, but that's how I'm reading it, and that is uh, pretty fascinating if you ask me. Another fascinating thing, so this current's moving pretty good. I want to say not right at this exact location, but um, pretty close to us, uh, actually upstream, so up that way. I believe it's a class three rapid. I believe, I could be wrong. But look right here, so you have a pretty good current, but this floating debris, this driftwood, is just 
hanging out. It's just stuck in a like a whirlpool. So the water is coming down. The water is coming down and it's rising up and it's stuck in the cycle. And it's been there for about 10 minutes just doing small circles. It can't get out. Life is just too good where it's at. All right. So we're going to get out of here. Check this place out. It's pretty nice, right? And uh, now we're going to leave. So on to the next place. See you when we get there. So I found this cool waterfall, it's pretty nice. Um, there's like a little uh, pool here too. Uh, it's really shallow, really small, but it actually it feeds into the river behind me. You can see it here and it runs off. It's a very unique spot. Very uh, picturesque. along and uh, on the road it goes downhill and I saw the stream went down the hill so I got off the bike and I followed it and uh, it turned into a little creek and then I saw little waterfalls and then I came on came up on this this is amazing this is awesome it's a cool little spot and there's maybe a one and a half two foot wading pool right here before it drops off the ne next ledge or whatever it's a very neat spot, but this just goes to show, if you don't get out of your car, if you don't go look down that road or get off your bike or slow down and look around you, you're missing stuff that you have no idea is all around you all the time. Because I think I've passed this a million times in my life. I've come through here a lot and I've never stopped to look at this. And I finally did and it paid off. And it just goes to remind me, slow down, look around you. We live in a beautiful place with a lot to offer. And uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All right, well unfortunately, I think it's about time to leave this spot and uh, see if there's anything else we can find. Otherwise, uh, maybe it's time to head back. We'll see. Not leaving yet, but soon.
we'll go up this. Shoot, I've got street tires on. Don't really want to do it. Nope, we're not. This doesn't go very far up this road anyhow, but I have street tires on and that just sucks on big gravel and kind of crushed rocks stuff. And then you hit the mud and then it's just not much fun unless you want to get stuck. Well, that was a really nice spot. That was a, uh, I didn't even know that was there. I've been here quite a few times, but that was really cool. There's another cool spot. I don't know if I have time for it though. We're already kind of got the sunny side of the hill going. And I am definitely not prepared to do much while I'm on the bike right now. But there's a waterfall, quite a, a large, uh, it's like a, a step. It steps up, I don't know, seven, eight times. So you climb up and then it goes flat and then you climb up and then it goes flat and you climb you get it. So there's one of those up here and it goes quite a ways up, a few hundred feet. And that'd be really cool, but I don't think I'm gonna do it today. I think we'll make another video for that whole run. Maybe I'll bring somebody with me. in the eye. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, can't see. Ah, oh, crap. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that's what I get. Keeping the visor up. It's getting warm out. I was trying to get some air. Bad idea, apparently. Uh, and I still have my visor up. I don't want to put it down. It's just too hot. Okay, I put it most of the way down. At least I can breathe still. God, this road is just so thrashed. It's just bumpy as hell and it's all like hard bumps and potholes. All right, you guys. I think I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna head home. This was cool. We got to see something new, or at least I got to see something new. Hopefully you guys did too. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. So I'm gonna go now. I got stuff to do, place to go. And uh, until the next time, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment or suggestions down below. I'll read them, get back to you if I can. And uh, remember the underlining point in this isn't to watch these videos to get out and do them. This is to, to try and excite you to seeing what the world has to offer you. You might not have a dirt bike, but there are plenty of places you can go and explore 
and I suggest doing it while you can. So anyways, be safe above all, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, you guys, have fun. Peace out.